Hi everyone. In the history of microbiology topic, we were discussing about different scientists and their contributions in the field of microbiology. In this video, we are going to discuss about Martinus Bajornik, who lived from 1851 to 1931. Martinus Bajornik was a Dutch microbiologist and a botanist. He was interested in studying the relationship between plants and microbes. He was one of the great general microbiologists who made fundamental contributions in the areas of uh, uh, microbial ecology, then general microbiology, bacteriology and virology in particular. The main contributions of Bajernik in the field of microbiology are number one, his study of agriculture microbiology and industrial microbiology led to fundamental discoveries in the field of biology. And he invented the enrichment culture, which is a fundamental method of studying microbes. During his study, he developed several cultural techniques to isolate soil microorganisms, particularly he developed enrichment culture technique for specific isolation of microbes. So what this enrichment culture is going to do means this enrichment culture favors the greater growth of certain specific microbes while suppressing the growth of others. And this helps in isolation and pure culture of required microbes. He also proposed selecting the microbes from natural sample and through the use of specific culture media and incubation method and required microbes can be obtained in pure culture. And this was a novel approach to isolate required microorganisms by selective culture technique practice by him is nowadays used as the enrichment culture techniques. He isolated pure culture of many soil microbes and aquatic microbes which include nitrogen fixing bacteria, sulfate reducing and sulfur oxidizing bacteria, and even nitrogen fixing root nodule bacteria, green algae, lactobacillus species, etc. Okay, so these are all the bacteria which was isolated in pure culture form by Mr. Bajernik. Bajernik is going to be considered as the founder of virology. While, why he was considered as the founder of virology means, while studying the causative agent of uh, tobacco mosaic virus, he found out that the agent can pass through the bacterial filter. Thus, he proved that infectious agent was not the bacteria but a living agent which required the living plant to reproduce. He thus enunciated the basic tetans of virology. Bijanek found that the tobacco mosaic virus remained active in the dried leaves and soil. On coming in contact with a live host, it brings about the infection. By testing the activity of many dilutions of the infectious fluid, he was able to demonstrate that the fluid's potency, he also showed that the fluid loses the potency on boiling. He thus opined that the disease causative agent was a contagious vivum fluidum or contagious living fluid which was later described by Stanley and he proved then to be a particulate virus. Bajonic also discovered nitrogen fixation process by which diatomic nitrogen gas that is N2 is converted into ammonium and become available to the higher plants and the process is being considered as a nitrogen fixation. He showed that certain bacteria like uh, some symbiotic with higher plants and other free living can make use of gaseous nitrogen as a source of their nitrogen requirements. And these microorganisms enrich the soil with nitrogen 
which will be made available to higher plants. And not only that, he also discovered the phenomena of bacterial sulfate reduction, a form of anaerobic respiration, where he learned bacteria could use sulfate as a terminal electron acceptor instead of oxygen, that is H2S. This discovery has had an important impact on our current understanding of biogeochemical cycles. So that is nitrogen cycle, sulfur cycle, carbon cycle. Like this, we are having the biogeochemical cycles. The spirillum desulfuricans, now known as desulfur vibrio desulfuricans, the first known sulfate reducing bacteria, was isolated and described by Bezernik. Okay, so these are all the contributions that were led by Mr. Bezernik, who contributed uh, everything to the field of uh, microbiology in the general microbiology, bacteriology, virology in particular. Okay, thank you.